we weren't expecting this character to, this is the character I thought Soul show. Yeah, oh, I yeah, fully yeah, L3, agree. without yeah. question. I mean, I literally was just like, okay, it'll be another cute fun droid, right? <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like we're so used to seeing them popping up in these movies now, yeah. but man, L3, like, stole it for me. I mean, she's easily my favorite droid now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about the people watching at home, but I know for us, we walked out of the movie and we were like, what? Does it mean that it works? Yeah. yeah. And has Lando been screwing robots? And the yeah. answer is yes. The yeah. answer is like definitively yes. Oh. And like people have come out, like the writers are like, yeah. oh yeah, that's what it means. You yeah. talk yeah. to Phoebe. Yeah, I mean, Donald Glover yeah. was like, yes, Lando loved L3, which I thought, you know, he could have left that up in the air. And I felt that that was really cool that he was like, no, he loved L3. And then I asked um, Phoebe, what did she mean when she said it works? And she's like, I'll leave that to your imagination. But um, I think we all know what that's yeah. insinuating. I just like, I freaking loved this character. Yeah. And it's funny, cause like obviously we spent a lot of time talking about Alden, about the characters who are returning, but for the new characters, like, you know, we'll get to, to Kira and mm -hmm. Beckett mm -hmm. and everyone, but like to me, L3 is the one who just shone the brightest. And I thought she was really interesting and dynamic and like, you know, Star Wars movies aren't inherently political movies, but- They're but becoming more so. They, they yeah. are, but I thought like, just seeing a completely different perspective to droids uh, through her and the world really through her. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, again, like even through their relationship, how he, he didn't like, you know, fix her and, and make her not have her own individual it's personality. He's like, it's, it's creepy though, you stop and you're well, like, basically, is he, I know this is a loaded question and we don't have time to delve into it, but is he like a slave owner who's doing his slave? Like No, that's... because I think he's I think I in think this, in this could have movie. left at any time. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, that's the yeah. thing is that they like she they is a she's, she's a consenting yeah. she's yeah. like a consenting droid, and I don't mean in a sexual nature, I mean like her oh. whole thing is, you know, looking at these other droids and seeing the restraint bolts and seeing what the Empire yeah. is doing with them and raising just this whole perspective on the way droids are t treated within the Star Wars universe, and suddenly you think about it, and you're like, okay, R2, C3PO, these, the these are- are bastards. Well, I am like, <laughs> again, they're, I'm using the term like consenting droids because they're choosing to be uh, with these humans. They mm -hmm. are partners in the way Chewie chooses to be with Han. Yeah. And I think it's like, it's just this really fascinating new la layer to it. And and I just thought, I know, I thought Phoebe Waller just did like such a beautiful job with this performance in, in a, a franchise just overrun with like fun, playful droids. Like we love BB-8 and, yeah. and BB-90 yeah. and everything. And K2SO who is sort of the snarky version. But Yeah, he was like she, the predecessor in she personality was a character. wise. Yeah. Yeah. She was a character she was and I really loved it. She was the complete opposite of C-3PO. Like I thought they were like polar opposites. You know what I mean? Like she was um, mouthy, said exactly what she thought. I And then she even just the way that she walked, I, yeah. I mean, I, I just thought it her was cool. Her line of butter, butter, whatever it was, or something, or like yes, she yeah, yeah, yeah. her way, like yeah. And she was hilarious. I mean, C-3PO is hilarious too, but I mean, like, she just was like sassy and had an attitude, and I really can't recall any other droids where like I would say that. Now, I, I have a lingering question okay. about this now. Like, so her consciousness is basically put into the NAV system. Yeah. Her programming mm -hmm. and becomes that. So, is she still in the Falcon? To I assume the, so, yeah. But then, wouldn't it let. takes, yeah, like Han getting the ship, that's like him running off with what's left of the woman he Lando loved. And like, it's got a whole new, like there's all this oh, there's like so many can of layers now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Go You're back like, and rewatch Empire and see how, cause Lando yeah. sort of talks about the ship as like his lost love sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. I mean, it, it is interesting because I, I came out of it and I'm like, you know, there is that the funny line that that uh, L three has, where she's like, "I think he's getting too attached, essentially." <laughs> yeah. Um, but but knowing that like there was this love, I, I don't know. I think it adds like a really interesting depth to to that whole relationship. And look at Luke and R two the same. Way. <laughs> oh no! no. I, I don't think I don't oh, think it's in like a sick and appropriate way. I yeah. think it is in like a, a sweet way. Ultimately. I think what was just so cool about it was that I was really expecting nothing from L three, and I walked out of it being a huge fan. And we want to know what you at home think. Make sure you put your opinions in the comments section and do not forget to check out Jim's review. We also have a really fun video where the actor who plays Chewie is translating Shri Wook and some of those epic <laughs> Star Wars scenes. So make sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you want to watch.